Welcome to the Athlete to Athlete series. My name is Rennie Kern. I'm a former professional athlete, speaker, leadership coach, and the founder of the Game Changers Foundation. Our mission is to help current and former athletes in sports, business, and life. Each week, we'll be bringing you top former athletes to share tips, tools, and strategies to help you change the game on and off the field. Our series is made possible through our amazing sponsors, the Sports Turf Company. All right, so this week we made our way out to Carrollton, Georgia with the Carrollton Trojans, led by Coach Joey King. I'm excited to interview them and hear more about just their leadership experience, the things that they're doing to get to that 7-0 record that they have this year. So let's take a look. I'm Joey King. I'm the head football coach at Carrollton High School. For those young athletes who are watching who one day want to get to that level of, of being a starter at their high school or just, you know, playing at a high level, what advice would you give to them? I take it one day at a time. Yeah. You know, one day at a time and focus on winning that day. Yeah. You know, you break this, you got big dreams and a big vision, uh, but you can't get there without taking that first step. So just focus on doing it one day at a time. You win the day and turn around and stack days. My name is Cameron Thornton. I'm a free safety and wide receiver, class of 2025. How are you hoping to use the game of football to uh, just prepare you you know, off the field and in life in general? Um, to never quit when it get hard, mm -hmm. no matter how hard it get, it's, it, whenever it is going my way, I know it's not going to be like that forever. Like um, in football games, Coach King, our coaches talk about momentum shifts. Um, so when we have it, we try to keep it as long as we can, but we know it's going to go to the other team. But just be ready when it comes back to us to keep it as long as we can. So when I got to high school, Met my, my coach my freshman year, didn't get along with my coach. He had me wanting to quit. Went to my Little League coach, and he's like, Rennie, I want you to do something for me. I said, Coach, I don't even want to do this anymore. I don't like him. My attitude sucked. And he said, Rennie Kern, I want you to focus on what you can control. I never, I've never forgotten those words to this day. Focus on what you can control. He moved me to linebacker. Hated playing linebacker. I wanted to play running back, right? But I told myself when I got back out on that field that I'm either going to be the first to the ball, or I'm going to make every single play. And I started to realize, man, that once I changed my mindset, once I focused on the things that I could control, my attitude, my character, my leadership abilities, what I did in the weight room, it started to lead to positive things. My faith. All this time I was chasing this, right? I was chasing this, this jersey. I was trying to prove to everybody that I was enough. Once you get there, you're going to realize, man, that that's not all there is to life. And that's the same feeling I had after that moment. The biggest thing I would say to my younger self and what I would say to you all tonight is that you have to know who you are outside of this jersey. Right? At the end of the day, when you take this thing off, if you do not know who you are as a man, you don't know who you are in Christ, you don't have a relationship with him, man. It is going to destroy you when you take this thing off for the last time. So you have to understand, man, that like your relationship with God is the most important thing. Because I don't care if you go up, you go down, you get hurt, you a starter, you second string, whatever. God is going to be there. Right now, I want to pray for you guys. But Lord, help them to know that it's all about relationship. It's all about improving one day at a time, 1% better. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. Athlete to Athlete, presented by Sports Turf Company and the Game Changers Foundation.